the D-latch. Here's a diagram showing the D-latch. We've got two inputs, D and L, and one output, Q. The characteristic is given in the box here. When L is high, we say that the output, Q, is exactly the same as the input, D. When L is low, Q is frozen into whichever state it was in previously. In this first example, we've got L is high, which means that Q is going to copy whatever D is doing. So D is low, Q is going to be low. We'll put this on the timing diagram. We're going to make D go high, and because L is high, Q will also go high. Show that on the timing diagram. And I'm going to make L go low. So this is now in the frozen state. So there's no change to Q. Even if D goes low, there's no change to Q. It stays high. Now what we're going to do, we're going to make um, L go high and D is low. So we're now in the uh, transparent, what we call the transparent state, where Q copies whatever D is doing. So Q is now going to go low. And if I make D go high again, Q goes high again. So whenever L is low, Q stays in whichever state it was in previously. And whenever L is high, Q is exactly the same as D. We're now going to look at the internal circuitry to show how this can be made. And it can be made with three logic gates and an active high by stable with set and reset inputs and Q output. Let's look at the first stage where we've got L is high and we've got D is low. So if L is high, uh, we've got, going into this AND gate, we've got L and we've got not D. So L is high, D is low, it means that the output here will be a 1. And if we look at uh, this other AND gate, we've got a 1 and a 0 going in, and the output of this one will be low. What this means with the active high by stable, if R is, is high and S is low, it means that Q is going to be reset low. So it's going to be in a low state. That's exactly what we've got. So uh, latch is high, D and Q are going to be the same. Going to make D go high. And what this is going to do now, with this AND gate, we've now got a 1 and a 0 going in. So when L and D are high, the output are naught from this AND gate. And what's going to happen here, we've now got a 1 and a 1 going into this AND gate, meaning the output's going to be high. So the buy stable is now going to be set, meaning that Q is high. So when D and L are both high, the output is high. Now we're going to make the latch go low. And what this does, this puts a naught into uh, one of the inputs of both of these AND gates here, meaning that the output of each of the gates is going to be zero. Naught and a naught going into the buy stable is the no change state. So the output remains high. And even if we change D, because we've got a zero going into the latch, uh, latch input and a zero in the latch input, the inputs, uh, the inputs to the buy stable are going to remain low. So it's the no change state. Now what we're going to do, we're going to make the latch go high again, going into this AND gate. If latch is high, D is low, We've now got a 1 and a 1 going into this, which gives us a 1 at the reset. And we've now got a 1 and a 0. That's still going to be a 0 there. And the buy stable is now in the reset state, which means that Q is going to go low. So latch is high again. Q is going to be exactly what D is. And we're going to make D go high. We've now got a 0 and a 1 going into this AND gate, giving us a 0 on the output. We've now got a 1 and a 1 going in here, giving us a 1 on the output. So this buy stable is now going to be set, and Q goes high. So when the latch is high, Q is exactly the same as D, and when the latch is low, Q is held.